Okay, good morning again. Um, I'm still Lori Kinnear, and I uh, have a spiritual reading. Um, so good morning to everyone here, of course, in Sanctuary and on Zoom and Facebook. Glad you could be with us. And um, today my reading is from Eckhart Tolle from a June 2020 blog and it is entitled The Opportunity in Adversity. Life unfolds between the polarities of order and chaos. It is important at this time to recognize these two fundamental opposites without which the world could not even be Another word for disorder is adversity. When it becomes more extreme, we might even call it chaos. We would prefer, of course, to have order in our lives, which means to have things going well. We would like relative harmony in our lives, yet that very often is marred by the eruption of some form of disorder. And usually we resent that, we get angry or despondent or sad. Disorder comes in many, many forms, big and small. When disorder comes, it usually creates a kind of havoc in our lives, accompanied by strong underlying beliefs. There's something very wrong here. This should not be happening. Maybe God is against me and so on. Again, we need to understand that disorder or adversity is inevitable and is an essential part of a higher order. From a higher perspective, a higher level, the existence of order and disorder or order and chaos is a necessary part of the evolution of life. Many people have found that they experience a deepening or a deeper sense of self or beingness immediately after and as a result of having endured a period of disorder or chaos. This is sometimes called the dark night of the soul, a term from medieval Christianity used to describe the mental breakdown that many mystics experience prior to awakening to spirituality. There was a, excuse me, there was an eruption of disorder, of destruction. Then, out of that, a deeper realization arose. And although that can be very painful, the strange thing, the strange thing is, it's precisely there that many humans experience a transcendence a strange fact is that it almost never happens that people awaken spiritually while they're in their comfort zone or that they become deeper as human beings, which would be partial awakening. It almost never happens. The place where the evolutionary shift happens or the evolutionary leap is usually the experience of disorder in a person's life. And so your life then moves between order and disorder. You have both, and they're both necessary. There's no guarantee that when disorder erupts, this will bring about an awakening or a deepening. But there's always the possibility. It is an opportunity, but often it is missed. So here we are at this time, and our mission is the same to align with the present moment with whatever is happening here and now. The upheaval that we're experiencing at the present time probably will not be the last upheaval that's going to come on a collective level. However, it is an opportunity because although this time for upheavals, it's also a time of awakening. The two go together, just as in an individual life. You need adversity 
to awaken. It's an opportunity, but not a guarantee. And so what looks tragic and unpleasant on a conventional level is actually perfectly fine. And as it should be on a higher level, it would not be happening otherwise. It's all part of the awakening of the human beings and of planetary awakening. And I'll end with a quote from Eckhart Tolle. <sighs> accept, then act. Whatever the present moment contains, accept it as if you had chosen it. Always work with it, not against it. Make it your friend and ally, not your enemy. This will miraculously transform your whole life. Thank you. Namaste.